All right, so did we all come up with the leading coefficient to be negative 1 over 36 for the last one? So we plug in um, 0 for x. So 0 plus 4 is where I got the 4 from. 0 plus 2 is 2. 0 minus 1 is a negative 1. 0 minus 3 is negative 3, and negative 3 squared is 9. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. Negative 8 times 9 is negative 72. So we should have 2 is equal to negative 72x. So any questions where I got the negative 72? So now how do you solve for A? What are we going to do? Divide both sides by what? Negative 72, correct? So again, when you simplify 2 over negative 72, you can simplify it down to negative 1 over 36. So this is what the polynomial function should look like. Okay? Any questions on that? So now let's see. What's happening at negative 4? At negative 4, it's just going to do what on the x-axis? It's just going to do what? Cross. What's going to happen at negative 2? It's going to cross. What's happening at 1? It's going to cross. But what's going to happen at 3? It's going to touch. Alright, so there's my 4x intercepts. What's the last piece of information I need to help me come up with a good graph? Y intercept. So again, um, y is going to be equal to negative 1 over 36 times 0 plus 4, which is 4, times 0 plus 2, which is 2, times 0 minus 1, which is a negative 1. 0 minus 3 is negative 3, and negative 3 squared is 9. So let's see. Uh, negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 1 is 8. And 8 times 9 is 72. So I'm going to be 72 over 36. It's just going to give me a y-intercept of 2. So I know I have a y-intercept of 0, 2. So now we have a fifth degree polynomial. What's happening with the leading coefficient? Your leading coefficient is what? Positive or negative? Negative. So a fifth degree polynomial function with a negative leading coefficient, that's what the shape, that's the end behavior. The left side goes up, the right side goes down. When you have it, again, I always do this little sketch of those cubic functions just to help visually remind me of what it's going to look like. Remember, it's crossing everywhere except when I get to three. So I know I'm going to come down cross at negative 4. I know I'm going to go down and have to come back up. I'm going to cross at negative 2, pass through the y-intercept, cross at 1, come back up, touch at 3, and then point back down. Any questions on how I came up with the steps for that particular polynomial function? So like I said, this has a little bit of old with a little bit of new in it. That's going to be kind of the theory that we're going to be going through in this particular unit. Some of it's going to be review, and then some of it will be, oh, you're looking, lovely, long and business and Don't look ahead. That'll be fun. A little bit old, a little bit new. So any questions about what we did today, guys? All right, that's it.